But in Photoshop, there you go, Neil. Thank you. Um, in Photoshop, we have the uh, Preset Manager, which is you can locate at Edit, Preset, Preset Manager. Or you can come over here to this little icon and get your preset manager. You can, as you can see, you can do brushes, swatches, gradients, patterns. You're going to be using a lot of these, but for especially brushes because they can get um, confusing really fast. And I'm going to show you something. All of this here, these are all customized brushes. Some I made myself, some are downloads from, like I said, DeviantArt, and so on and so forth. Um, when you get Photoshop, when you get started with it, you're going to have the default brushes, which are these. Um, you can reset brushes, which will replace current brushes, or you can append, which adds to it. So I just reset. Um, if you have anything customized, though, make sure you save stuff before you do that because it will get rid of your customizations. But you're going to start with the default brushes. From these, you can make a lot of stuff, just, just these brushes by themselves. Um, you can also change the thumbnail to an image, large thumbnail, small list, large list. Now stroke thumbnails are nice for like if you do a creative brush set and you want to uh, put it on DeviantArt let's say it, so people can use it as well and download it and use it. Um, these strokes kind of demonstrate what you're looking at in regards to uh, what the people are going to be downloading. But personally I go for the large list and I'm going to show you why. Um, to keep things straight because if you, you you know when you look at this long list you can see how easy it is to get everything confused so when I go to make customized brushes the first thing I do is come over here to my brush presets panel if you cannot see the brush presets panel it's under window and brush presets okay I'm gonna come down here and I'm going to hit new brush, okay? Let's move my little chatty over here out of the way again. And you'll have to beg, beg your pardon on that. Now, on this one, you notice I can capture the brush size in the preset if I want to. We will be using that later. For now, I'm going to change the name. And I always use uh, brackets or something that will catch my attention. And then let's say I'm going to go custom brushes. Okay. And I'm going to do that a couple, couple of times. One thing I really wish F Photoshop Adobe would uh, do is... Um, allow us to do a search on brush names. It would make things so much easier. I can't spell. Now, the reason why I did that is because when you go into the preset manager, as you can see, I've got these two brushes listed. Well, if you right click on the brush, you can rename or delete it. So when I come in and let's say um, I've just created a whole bunch of brushes. Okay. Well now, and then uh, now I can come in and rename this to KL Custom Brushes. Then, when I go to load another brush set, okay, I bring those over here, and now I can rename this.
okay? So I have these KL custom brushes and then download custom brushes, okay? And then I go done. Now, when I scroll through my brush presets, boom, download custom brushes. Everything below this, I know what it, category it belongs to. I know what it is. My custom brushes are right here, and these up here are the default brushes. This helps me, especially in the um, presets here, I can load all sorts of things and it helps me keep everything straight when I'm scrolling through the, the panel and trying to find something because this is really tough to use as well. Now, let me see. I had saved for this. Also in the preset manager, you can come over here and delete. Now these are, uh, I have not deleted the brushes off my hard drive. They're still there. But I have deleted them out of the preset manager. If I do not save my custom brushes, like so, and then you go save set, and I named this KL custom matte brushes because that's what I've been working on. Yes. If I do not save those, when I delete them, they would be gone forever. You have to save the set. And it becomes easier if you label everything with a brand new brush and then just rename the brush to the category you want to use and you know where, what, when, and how you've got everything going.